Wall Street Journal is reporting that the U.S. secretly modified some rocket launchers given to Ukraine so they could not be used to attack Russia. Is that something that's unusual or is that pretty standard practice? Well, good evening, Nicole. I know I read that same piece in the Wall Street Journal, and my sources tell me that uh, essentially the the Biden administration really hasn't confirmed or really denied uh, that report. But it's uh, it certainly would be uh, what we would expect. I believe that's a prudent uh, measure on our part to make sure that those uh, really those really sophisticated and very precise rocket systems would not be able to uh, essentially leave Ukrainian airspace and attack Russia. Because, you know, the objective here is to certainly uh, we want Ukraine to win and hold off uh, Russia and, and so forth. But we also don't want to engage Russia ourselves into any type of offensive actions, which then could certainly up the ante. So I think it's a prudent move if indeed that is true uh, on those reports. All right. So, General, we just heard that, you know, we don't want to engage Russia. We don't want to goad Putin into possibly using nuclear weapons. But the other side of that argument uh, is that by not giving Ukraine those long range missiles, Russia essentially knows it can attack Ukraine uh, without any fear of retribution. So how does the U.S. kind of balance those two arguments, those two points there? Well, the first point is the fact that uh, there's, and my my uh, numbers tell me over 60 billion dollars of aid have been provided by the United States, and several billion more from NATO. Point one, and then point two, we've been really. Uh, really making sure that the, the the NATO leadership led by the United States is, is holding strong against Putin, against Russia. Uh, and we're also providing them high capable, highly capable systems uh, that will, again, thwart any type of attack or air defense systems that will provide cover for Russia's long range forces. And so I think that's significant. And I think it's it is it's a tightrope, though. We do not want to uh, compel Russia to up the ante in terms of demonstration of, say, a tactical nuclear weapon that you and I have talked about several weeks or so ago. But it's it's one where I think the U.S. is, is doing an extraordinary job providing these capabilities. That said, we're entering a, a very significant period of time in winter where the you know Russian forces and the Ukrainian forces are almost uh, not quite at a stalemate, but because of the, the rather cold conditions, uh, it's going to be very difficult to keep the fight going, and therefore you you kind of get into a sense of war of attrition. However, Ukraine still maintains the offense, and I believe that's significant. The Russians are still on the heels of their defense, and uh, we'll see how this plays out. But I don't think Russia is 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 going to stop. And like I said the other night, Ukraine's not going to quit. Yeah. Uh, well, General, last question for you. Only have about 30 seconds here. But, you know, over the weekend, the U.S. Director of National Intelligence said Putin has, quote, become better informed about Russia's struggles in Ukraine. What do you think that really means? And how could that impact the next, the next phases of this war? Well, what that means is the fact that public opinion, uh, the fact that his 300,000 soldier call up has not been going very smoothly. Uh, perhaps his inner circle is starting to, you know, not only question his overall decision about attacking Ukraine in the first place, but whether or not he's got the capabilities and the weapon systems and frankly, the arsenal to continue on. What I think is he's trying to aim for is a spring offensive, whether or not he's able to carry that off. And if he does carry that off, Nicole, in the spring, you know, how how effective will that be against a very difficult Ukrainian military that has really shown its uh, it, it's not only its will, but its capabilities in the field. And the last point is they've also mentioned to him and he knows the United States and NATO is not going anywhere at all. We're going to stay behind Ukraine. Absolutely. And it's going to be a long winter. OK, General Newton, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.